Season 54 Golden Time Talent has been, as was Season 53, a remarkable year and many entries. I have been asked to critique my top 10 and give a rundown. So here goes in no particular order. Number 55, Stephanie Nicoleva, singer, songwriter, aged 11 to 14, Lady Galaxy. Angelic vocals in keeping with the song, the theme, and poetic song, and very descriptive. Uh, the studio mix and the master was top class. Number 53, Natalia Svik. I gave 9.5 as she was 31 to 50 years old entry as a cover. The title Above the Clouds translated into English. Um, it was done live to a backing track with an audience and her superb timing and expression, um, reaching awesome notes. She had a good vibe on the stage and um, in keeping with the song, she was absolutely splendid. Well done. Number 42, Mary Donazian, pop vocals. I gave 9.5, age group 31 to 50, and she was with the Absolute Band. Now this was a medley, extraordinaire, three or four songs and switching language from English as well. And the band, the mix, the mastering, uh, the vocal takes, um, countersinking her own medleys as well. It showed um, versatility, which would be very useful to record label. And uh, you could easily listen to this sort of thing on the radio. A real, real star in the making, Donosian, uh, Mary Donosian. So number 35, David Astafev. Uh, there was no music video with this. Some people did, some people didn't, but I gave 9.5 pop vocals in the age of 31 to 50. Uh, there was a brilliant mix in the studio and the vocals and instrumentals were uh, awesome. Uh, he showed a strong and sensitive and thoughtful voice. Um, the vocals were pitch perfect. Number nine, Ada Avetisian, pop vocals, I gave nine. She was um, in the age group 11 to 14. Um, it was done live with an accompanying pianist, a piano. There was no microphone, so I took note, obviously, and compared with all of the other entries, and this was one of few that had no microphone. So as I am now singing, there were no um, opportunities to enhance the voice with pitch correction, auto-tune, mixing, mastering, or other takes. And she had great timbre in her voice, um, and it gave me a sense of the music, a feeling. She kept the tempo, energy, raw talent and emotion. One of my favourites. Well done. Number 80, Sabir Amadov, a 9.5 in the age group 15 to 17. Composer rock, raw live acoustic, another one of my favourites. Controlled, natural, great voice, great sound. And again, in a take, presenting it around the world with golden time talent. This showed um, maturity uh, and also a huge ability because one take sounding so good, you can imagine then enhancing in the studio with retakes using different microphones and mixing and all the rest of it. Real talent, look out for him. Uh, the next one was uh, Ilya Kiriev and Invasion Title of the North, translated into English, that I hope is correct. It was written in a different language to my understanding. Now the vocals and the mix, the studio effects accompanied with the video um, showed, um, it, well it was brilliant, first class. And the changes were interesting in the voice and in the, in the mix itself with the different instruments and with the selections. Uh, I mean, again, this is one that you could easily listen to on the radio. Another high class entry, really good, fantastic. And another one was uh, Ni uh, Vina, Dun Dunical, and um, the use of double countersink vocals and the mix and studio effects accompanied by the video, chains in in uh, were interesting. Um, it was fantastic. Um, I gave a 9.5 for that. It was number 50, 59 for me, the entry. Uh, uh, number 56, again, uh, Ilya, Kiranev, uh, singer-songwriter. It was a more dancey track, uh, techno club sound. 
Um, the title, it translates to English, was Message Sent. And it had a drum and a bass feel. Again, it changed, it moved, it kept you interested. You could dance to it. It's a thoughtful track. Brilliant use of backing vocals, doubling the voice in certain parts. It was cool, funky. I would buy it if it was out on iTunes. Fantastic. Well done. Uh, 9.5 was given to Valentina Buriak for academic vocals accompanied by piano. There was no microphone again. Well done. Brave. And it came off perfectly. Um, there was no vocal enhancement as a result. It was as it was. There was no AI. It was human. Fantastic. I love it. The title, um, it, it was written by G. Pacini, uh, Manon and Liscal. Um, the composure, she was strong, she was professional, and it could easily make an opera. And you can easily think about someone singing in a show in London with a 